Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial! Today we are going to create Neo Tilted from Fortnite in Season 9! Oh, that's right, Neo Tilted Towers is created in today's video, although I am still a little bit sad that Tilted Towers is gone. <clears throat> today's video is brought to you by Audible and I will tell you later more about Audible because I am listening quite a lot, especially when creating with clay. But let's jump in, let's create the map piece we have been all waiting for and we need different layers, a lot of layers, because um, a creation that complex has to be created in different layers. This is the very first level. We take just a thin layer of grey clay for all the streets, the street structure and also the sidewalks. But let's remove the paper. This is what it looks like underneath. Um, it's the exact same technique I used for the very first Tilted Towers tutorial. As you know, this is my third attempt in creating Tilted Towers when the volcano erupted. Yes, I was pouring in a lot of baking soda and vinegar into my volcano to make it erupt. And then we destroyed Tilted Towers. <clears throat> or did I? Now let's try to get all the streets onto our plate. Uh, later we will, after oven hardening, we will fill it with a really dark color, almost black, because this is what it looks like. We have this pattern on the sidewalks all over the place and we will put this thing into the oven and while oven hardening we can prepare the next steps. This is some bright brown and some gray for the next layer underneath the street, the soil, the muddy part of the city which no one will ever see. Yeah, we will use it to, to get our sidewalks and the streets, this plate, a little bit thicker. So we will place it on top and use it as a blueprint for the next layer. After that we will create another layer underneath. We have to exchange the first row of the clay in order to get this wall, which can be seen, into grey. And then we put it on top of this layer, which is also basically just muddy soil containing of brown and grey. And it looks like this. It's a real sad color. <laughs> These are all the rocks. We will place them all around. I could do this after uh, making, creating Tilted Towers the third time now. I could do this while sleeping, I guess. <laughs> to get all the mountains right and according to the 3D model in the game, the big one in the background for example. And while preparing the green for the grass, let me tell you who is supporting us today with this tutorial. This video is sponsored by Audible. I have used Audible for many years and I love listening as a second activity while creating with clay most of the time, but also while jogging, traveling and even under the shower. For me it's not about being entertained, it's about personal growth. In 80% of the time I'm listening to non-fiction books to keep me motivated and to improve for what I'm doing here on YouTube. I have two recommendations for you. Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert T. Kiyosaki helped me to get my finances in order at a very young age. Building up my stop motion studio, I'm currently listening to the biography John Lasseter, the whiz who made Pixar. All you need to do to get your free 30-day Audible trial with one free audiobook and two free Audible originals, go to audible.com forward slash claim or text claim to 500-500 for anyone in the US. Choose one of the books I recommended or explore any of the endless options. A fascinating story, magazine, comedy or even news, go to audible.com forward slash claim and get started today. And if some of you already use Audible, I'm always happy to get some more recommendations. So just leave them down in the comments. Maybe we can make the Clay Claim audiobook collection. 
<laughs> the best of what the community is listening to. So this is the last piece of the sidewalk. Now we need some black and gray to mix the color for the street. While creating I was a bit struggling because I didn't really know how to create the street. I thought it would be too difficult to make all the forms, the shape of the streets and then put it right into the gray clay. I thought about painting it, so this is also an option. You could just leave it the way it is and after oven hardening you would just paint it with a black pen for example. This is the beautiful park with the lake and the statue right in the middle. I will create it first because I was looking forward to create this part of the map, the more, the more detailed part. We have a gray outline and then a very thin layer of blue. Here you can see the print I used. It has a slightly bigger scale than my normal map pieces because I wanted to spend some extra time on all the details on the buildings and I think I will leave out the cars. Yes, because most of the time I feel that it's more confusing adding all the cars. You can't get them right on a small scale. So I will focus on the buildings and yeah, some bushes maybe and some trees. <laughs> Let's see what it will look like in the end. There we have some walls and we will put the map piece to the side. Now the time has come, we will work on the very first building. And of course it's the clock tower, which has changed a lot. I loved the, the old design, the old fashioned design of the clock tower. Now we have this modern version of the clock tower with this projection of the time, which also looks nice. I have still no clue in, on how to build this projection on top of the tower. We will see in a minute. We have a construction, no, we have two construction sites. This is the very first one in the upper left corner. This is the second one next to the red crane. Yeah, it was a pity I was not able to get in more details of the construction site, so I decided to take just a paper clip, wrap it around like this, and it would look somehow like a construction site, a building site. This is the crane. I'm really proud of this creation, especially how it turned out later. The steel girder is hanging right there. Let's see what it will look like in the end. This is the building downstairs next to the tunnel. And we will place it onto the plate. Going on, this is just a regular building. <laughs> it's at the entrance where the road is coming into Neo Tilted next to the clock tower. Just adding some more details. There are two blue benches on the rooftop and the fish building. Yeah, it's called fish building, I think. We have an outline on the roof, some details and after oven hardening, I will also use some pens to get in more details, which would be too difficult to create with clay. Now, sweat insurance. The huge insurance company's building, the only building which was not destroyed by the volcano. We don't have many details on this building, but we have this entrance area, which is quite unique to the building and I wanted to get this as accurate as possible. We have the details all on the top and this is, well, what is this? It's the beef boss on his Durburger building. And it's huge. I think it's the second biggest building in Neo Tilted. I was figuring out a way how to, to build all the different layers of this building. Then I found out I made a mistake and I started all over again. <laughs> I don't want to show you this shame. This is the roof in this turquoise blue also placing the one on the top and all we need now is this orange outline for some further details on the roof. It's quite characteristic and also as for all buildings after oven hardening we will take some pens to get in some more details. This is probably the most iconic or most important tiny detail, the Durer Burger itself. 
the tongue and the eyes, one left, one right, and this olive right on top. But maybe we should first get the iris right. Ooh, this is so difficult to create on such a small scale. This is real wood. You have just seen that. Ooh, now, <laughs> I think this is the second most important detail. The stature, the, the woman in the middle of the lake. I hope I got her right. <laughs> the face didn't look that ugly. Maybe I should always create skins on that scale. No chance in screwing up. This is the black building where we have the huge screen right in the front with the... I think it's a gym advertising advertisement, right? We will have a look at this in a minute. I think it's a gym. Yeah, I think so. This is the biggest building we have in Neo Tilted. Also with this projection on top. We have advertise, advertising of Peely, but also, ah, yeah, well, we, we will come to that. I'm quite not sure about it right now. Another building in the right upper corner. Let's get some room for this wire. It's brown wire and we will use it um, as the trunks, as the pine tree trunks. It's a new technique I'm using right now. Normally I would create the trunks with clay, as you know. But this time I thought it would be way more accurate to use a very thin brown wire for the trunk as well. Most difficult thing about Neo Tilted, um, the different levels we have right now, I, in the end, I decided to go with paper. With clay it would have been too thick, so I'm quite happy with the end result, with this layer made out of paper. This is how I created the trees. It was a bit difficult to get them in, but with the scissors this is always quite nice. Another stairs and more trees and even more trees. I didn't show you some of the buildings, the easy ones I created. This station for the wind tunnels, for example. We have another one in the front and stairs on the left. And with some more paper clips, we have the placing mechanism for all the wind tunnels. Still I have no clue how to create them, but we will see in a minute. These are the stairs right in the front. There's a lonely stair and another platform. Yeah, maybe we should put this into the oven first. Sticking in the wire. All the crossings on the street start with a yellow stripe. Unfortunately, my white pen broke. The pen of death, you remember that maybe? So, we put the first thing into the oven. These are all the buildings. And after building the Zeppelin, we will also put this one into the oven. But I think this vehicle is quite important for the whole scenery. Because I really like it when you, you have some nice buildings and there is life around. Especially because I didn't create the cars. I wanted to add this Zeppelin with the advertisement, <laughs> the screen. I think it's saying something about Peely. And after placing the propeller on the backside, we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked buildings and freshly baked Zeppelin from Neo Tilted. I printed out all these tiny, tiny advertising posters, advertisement posters, because I wanted to get more details into the whole scenery and to make it more accurate. We have this flag hanging down on the Zeppelin. And we start with the first building. We place the tiny, tiny beef boss on the building. Do you remember this tutorial? I think we made a funny story about him <laughs> together in this video. We should do this more often. And we are drawing all these windows on the side. Some more posters, advertising posters on the side. I'm using, sometimes I'm using transparent polish to make the surface of the building more shiny, that it looks like a huge window. And this is the clock tower. 
also drawing, bringing in some more details. And I figured out a way on how to create the time reflected or projected on the top of the building. This is the insurance company's building and the crane. Let's see what we can do with this tiny, tiny guy. Maybe we could hang this right onto the crane. Oh, it looks nice. It looks so cute. What about the huge building, the biggest one? We have this advertisement right on top. It's spinning around. It's also a projection. As we are not able to create projections with clay, we have to figure out another way, a different way. It's sticking in and it looks nice. It really looks nice. Now, we have a freshly baked map piece. I am just drawing the crossings and we start placing all the buildings. I can tell you, um, while creating for hours and hours, for days on this creation, this is the moment I was looking forward to. To place all the finished buildings on the map and to glue them onto the map. This is the... I think I, I like the Dürr Burger place the most. Now let's also try to get in the statue, the woman. Maybe we add some more transparent polish to the water and some super glue. Placing the woman inside the water. This is a straw. And I thought it would be nice to use it for the wind tunnels. How to get this pink outline? Well, it's quite a new technique I am using, so I'm not sure how it will look like in the end. The very first one looked nice. Now let's do this 20 times. <laughs> and after the color has dried, the acrylic color, we will glue all the wind tunnels onto our map. And we will also place all the other ones. Guys, I can't tell you enough how crazy this tutorial was, how much work it was. Placing the last pieces, the last bushes onto the map. The Zeppelin making one more time advertising. Guys, that's it! Mutated! I would like to thank today's sponsor, Audible. Go to audible.com forward slash clay claim. Go check out the 30 day trial and get a free Audible book. Yeah, that's right, a free Audible book. <laughs> I guess that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's crazy detailed tutorial. Have a great weekend and take care, guys. Bye. No, no, no. It should be way more quiet.